The southern New Mexico area rarely gets any snow. Last night that changed when a cold front moved in rapidly to our region and slowed down commuters. More than 20,000 students and hundreds of faculty members were affected by the snowfall, causing a delayed opening at the NMSU campuses. I think safety is always necessary and even if there's even a small risk that um, our roads are a little too wet, a little too icy for our students, even if it's a small risk, it's still a risk. <laughs> For some international students on campus, the snowfall was a surprise. But what was your reaction when you guys saw morning, the snow morning. this morning? Uh, because uh, we have seen this from this perspective because we, have, we are international students, so uh, we are from India, we don't have uh, snow there, so, so it's, it's really good. Faculty members spoke about their family being affected by the snow as well. So it kind of messed up my daughter's schedule. She's in oh, high, high school, so right. school started later. Yeah, definitely. There's a, that delay. <laughs> yeah, so there was a delay, but she was happy. Oh, okay. So nice. my wife and I kind of had to rearrange our schedules this morning. Some students had mixed reaction about the intensity of the cold. Um, how, how do you how do you feel about the weather? I mean, it's pretty cold. I mean, pretty freezing, not, right? Not too bad. I mean, I, yeah. I don't feel. Like that cold, that cold. Oh, okay, but okay. It's a little cold. Did it, uh... <laughs> One NMSU student is used to large amounts of snow. She is from the Midwest. Uh, how do you feel about the snow? Oh, I love it. I, love lived, it? I lived in Wisconsin for eight years, so this, oh, okay. this is nice for me. It's a nice So break. you're kind of used to it? Yeah, this is great. Yeah. NMSU Public Information Officer Amanda Adame tells us why the delay occurred. Going to be delayed. I think they, they made the decision at about 4 a.m. when they saw that we were getting snow. It was going to accumulate. It was sticking. So that's when they made that decision. Um, and it is his decision. Obviously, he gets input from the National Weather Service. He gets input from the fire chief. And he gets input from the president and chancellor. Um, but at the end, it is ultimately his decision. And um, in that email, he kind of did mention that it's not that bad. It's not too much. It's, it's definitely not a blizzard. But but um, they always want to be precautious. Nevertheless, most people love the snow and cannot wait till it snows again.